On this episode of Food Nerd, we're talking this year's number one hit film, Guardians of the Galaxy. I look around. You know what I see? Losers. I mean, like, folks who have lost stuff. Their homes, their families. And we're facing a threat that could destroy us all. If we're gonna save the galaxy, we're gonna have to do it together. Partners. Why would you want to save the galaxy? Because I'm one of the idiots who lives in it! Oh, what the hell? I don't got that long a lifespan anyway. And to go along with our Guardians of the Galaxy theme, we've got three recipes today. First being a group vegetable risotto, and to go along with it, we're making a warm rocket grilled pear salad with blue cheese and bacon. It's amazing. And to wash it all down, we're gonna finish off with a Star-Lord cocktail. So sit back, strap in, it's time to get our nerd on. Welcome to Food Nerd. Ready, aim, fire. Galaxies, the story about five cons who do not get along whatsoever and have to join together in order to save the galaxy due to extenuating circumstances. This is a great film, I loved it. James Gunn directed it. He is an awesome director, check out all of his work. I loved this film. Chris Pratt does an amazing job as Star-Lord and Rocket Raccoon is definitely the standout. Bradley Cooper does an amazing job as this CGI character. And also, fellas, Karen Gillan as some bald, blue-headed chick. Pretty sweet. If you haven't seen this film yet, I definitely recommend seeing it. It's my pick for the year and it drops in stores this week. For our first recipe today, we're making what I like to call a Groot vegetable risotto. We're actually taking root vegetables and we're cooking them risotto style, finishing off with a little parm. Awesome. Check it out. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce down some carrot juice. You can use store-bought or fresh. And we'll put that off to the side. We'll cut up some rutabaga, some turnip, some parsnips, and some shallots. And we'll add some olive oil to a pan. And we'll add our vegetables to that. We're going to stir these through a little bit. We're going to give it a little bit of color. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook this risotto style. And what that means is that you're going to add a ladle of vegetable stock, chicken stock, whatever you want to use. But you're going to wait for it to disappear before you add the next ladle. So you'll be cooking it slowly. This will take about 45 minutes to cook, but it's well worth it. Just continue as it disappears, stir it through, and add another ladle. We're going to want to cook this till the vegetables become pork tender. We'll add some salt, some pepper, Parmesan cheese, A little bit of fresh parsley to that. And then we'll stir that on through. We'll add about a tablespoon of butter. Let's get back to that carrot butter. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter into the carrot juice that's now reduced. And we'll add a cornstarch slurry to thicken it up. Add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper to that. Now it's time to serve. We'll add our risotto into a bowl. Put some of that carrot butter on top. We'll top that with some wild mushrooms. And then we'll garnish it with some chives. And there you have it. 
group vegetable risotto style. Have you ever wondered what it meant whenever you see kosher on kosher dill pickles? A lot of people have the misconception that this means that the pickles were made in accordance with Jewish dietary law, which isn't exactly the case. Most pickles that you see kosher on means that they were pickled in accordance with New York Jewish laws. Now, what that means generally is that they just added a lot more garlic and a lot more dill. So think about that next time you snap into a glass of did you know that carrots weren't always the orange color that we know them to be today? They actually started out as a purple root vegetable with some varieties of white and yellow. But it wasn't until the 16th century that Dutch farmers actually crossed the white and yellow carrots together, creating a strain of the orange carrots that we know today. These are the carrots that have become prevalent, and it's actually very rare to find the original carrot colors. So if you do, find them, snatch them up, eat them. They're good. If you notice that your knives are starting to go dull, but you don't have a knife sharpener at home, well, here's a quick tip. If you happen to have a porcelain coffee mug, you can actually take the knife, put it on a 30 degree angle, just on the bias of it, and slide it across on both sides, running it over a few times. You'll notice that though it's not a permanent fix, it's actually a quick, easy way to sharpen a knife. Try it out for yourself. Here's some world news. Australian Pizza Hut just unveiled their brand new Doritos Pizza. What this means is that they've stuffed the crust with molten mozzarella, covered it with a little bit of cheddar cheese, and then covered the top of it with Doritos. Sound awesome? No. Those Australians are pretty crazy. And last but not least, for all you people who watch this on the day that it comes out, well done you, because you actually get on something a little bit free. Tomorrow, 12-12-2014, is actually known as the Day of the Dozens at Krispy Kreme. So, if you go online to KrispyKreme.com, you can download a coupon that says that you get a free dozen donuts with the purchase of a dozen donuts. 12 and 12. So, make sure you go on to KrispyKreme.com and download this coupon and use it because those things are yummy. Alright, next up we're making a rocket salad with grilled pears, setting it off with a little bit of blue cheese, bacon, walnuts. It's amazing. I love it. My wife loves it. Check this out. Alright, we're going to start off by slicing up a pear. You can use any type of pear for this application. And then we're going to take those and we're going to add them to a mixing bowl. Then we'll cover it with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of black pepper. Then we'll make sure that everything is evenly coated. Then what we're going to do is we're going to slice up a little bit of red onion for the garnish. And then to another bowl, we'll add some olive oil, some red wine vinegar, some honey. Make sure that that's all mixed in. Then we're going to add a little bit of blue cheese. Give that another mix, kind of mash it in there. Then we're going to take our pears and we're going to add them to a hot pan. What we want to do is make sure that these are nice and brown. Then we're going to add some rocket or arugula to a bowl and add our dressing that we've made. Once the pears have browned, we're going to take our rocket, add it to a plate, some red onion. We'll add our pears that we've cooked up. Then we'll add a little bit of bacon, because why not? We'll add some walnuts and a little bit more of the blue cheese. And there you have it. Rocket and grilled pear salad. All right, last but not least, to wash all this down, we're making a Star-Lord cocktail. Roll tape! 
If you did, please hit like down below. Also, make sure to click the big red button that says subscribe so you can follow along to any new episodes that we happen to put out. Also, make sure to follow us on Twitter, at IamFoodNerd. Until next time, I'm Chris Bissett. Stay nerdy. Ready, aim, fire.